Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to talk about the e-reading experience using the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. You can find so many videos about the gaming and also watching entertainment videos like in Netflix and the YouTube regarding this tablet. I also did the gaming. You can definitely game with this tablet. It works smoothly. It's an advantage that it has this ARM-based uh, CPU here, so it runs the Android apps smoothly. For the watching multimedia, for the videos, you can definitely use it. The speakers are loud enough for the video. But if you want to listen to music using the speakers of this, I would not recommend it that much because the speakers are a little bit tiny for the music. But today I wanted to show talk about the e-reading and how it performs using different applications here. But before we get started, please do subscribe and that will also help me to continue making these videos. So let's start with the playbooks that officially comes with pre-install as I remember on this device. So I have here the Born and Crime from the Trevor Noah here, a free sample. I will show that how smoothly it works here. You can see you can tap in the middle just once and it will bring the menu and you can change the font size, the darkness and everything as you're familiar with the application if you use it. Here you can use the font size, you can change the text format and also the margin here. Uh, here when you're swiping you have this also nice animation here, you can see it. It really works nice here. In the other applications that I tried, I couldn't find this in the settings, but maybe they have it. I didn't found it, but. But you can see it, it works really smoothly here. There is no delay. So really, you can read, use this device for reading. I actually do that. I use this Playbooks app a lot. So I read with it. So because also you can hold it, you have the dictionary, you can highlight it. It's really. It really works good and also I like this animation here and you could see that how smoothly this works here. So in the playbooks works smoothly. You have no problem. You can easily use this device for reading, which I do. Kindle. I personally don't use the Kindle, but there was also in the comments, somebody asked about it, how it works. I have again the Trevor Noah book here. And you can see in the beginning, you have a better full screen here in the Amazon Kindle, but I don't see this animation, which I like here. I liked it in the playbooks kind of that's missing here. And I don't know why there are some like uh, in the sections in the upper bar, the up and down, you have these white bars. It's because of this background and the layout. If I go and make it white, then it will be white everything, but I want to make any different layout, which I like to be a little bit darker than white, then you have this bars here, it doesn't look that good. But it really, it also works really good. And there's one really good thing about the Kindle, when you zoom in, it changes the phone size. That you don't get it in the uh, Playbook application, which is also advantage here. And also you can edit, you can do more stuff in the settings here, definitely in the Kindle app. But I like the animation in the playbooks. I don't know, maybe in the setting it has in the Kindle. Maybe you guys can let me know. The other one, I found two other applications which were popular in the Play Store. One was this Read Error. And there was also one book here. And you can see that I have this open already. And yeah, this is a little bit slower compared to the other one, but this is has lots of settings. You can do so much stuff here. And also you can also import your own documents, own your, your own books if you have them. So with a SD card or with a USB-C here, you can connect it. If you have also hub, you can connect it there, then you import your all your books here and then you're ready to go. You can read them here. These are really flexible apps here. You, you have so many options in the settings. You can do so many stuff, especially if you have uh, the, P, the EPUB documents kind of. You can 
easily use these apps. It works good, but I prefer the Play Store still. And the Moon Plus Reader is another application. So that I also found that also popular in the Play Store. And you can see this, you get this bookshelf design here. I think I touched it accidentally. And in this bookshelf design, I remember that I had this iPad first generation. And it had also in the beginning this bookshelf design. It was interesting. It was nice back then. So I will open this. And you can see that here also it works nice here. But yeah, uh, you have to tap it. Sorry, you have to tap here. Sorry, I did it wrong. Okay, you have to tap right and left and you can go back. It doesn't have this page swiping kind of, which I liked in the uh, playbooks kind of from Google app. So you go back and this is also nice. This works also good. But here you have also tons of setting. If I can go there, yeah, you have so many settings here. You can do so much stuff here. It's crazy how much flexibility you have here, definitely. But if I want to choose, I will choose still the playbooks because I like this animation here simply. That's really nice. One more thing I want to showcase also, if you want to read from internet, and the Chrome browser, you will most probably do that also a lot. In the Chrome browser, the experience is not as smooth as it should be because the websites are usually heavier. I have now here one magazine from the one newspaper from Germany and the website, it's much heavier. You can see it when I scroll, it's a little bit laggier, but it still is readable. I don't want to say that it's not good here, but compared to this other e-reader applications and the EPUB formats that you can upload there, this website is also much heavier. So it makes it definitely a little bit, a little bit laggier. But yeah, you can definitely still use this. This is also a good experience. You can see I'm trying to scroll here and you can see that there is really a slight lag so here. So I can say screen. easily that you can use this Lenovo Chromebook Duet for reading. And that's also what a, one of the purposes I bought this because I wanted kind of tablet experience also. That was important for me. And this has a really good size. As I said in one of the videos, the screen size matters for the tablet and experience because it has to be light. And I can hold this easily one hour with my hands and read it without no problem. And I will not feel tired. So that's really important when you're purchasing a device. If you want to read it, read some documents also for the, as a, use it as an e-reader. I would recommend that you use a device that it is smaller than 12 inch. Please keep it in that mind. So. This one fits perfectly, it's not that heavy. And you can see that from the application that I use, it works really good with the multiple application that I showcased here. You have no delay, not so ever. And also when you're in the Chrome browser, if it's an also heavy website, it's, you get a little bit lagginess, but still it's readable and it's enjoyable. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one.